Alrighty guys, it is Quaman here today and I'm bringing you another Dragon Ball Z segment on this new image that has been released for the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Series. Now I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but I really wanted to have this discussion with you and I really wanted to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into this video. So the very first thing that I want to talk about is the time period. Now. I know a lot of you have been very speculative of the actual time period that Dragon Ball Super is going to take place. I've heard people basically putting it in four categories. I've heard people saying it's going to take place before Battle of Gods. I've heard people people saying it was going to take between place between Battle of Gods and Fukatsu no F. I heard it's going to take place after Fukatsu no F, but before the end of Z. And then I've heard people saying it's going to take place after the end of Z. And quite frankly. I've always been a believer that Dragon Ball Super would take place after Fukatsu no F, considering the fact that Frieza would have appeared and we didn't see Goten and Trunks, even though they should be considerably older now. And, you know, obviously because of the fact they didn't show Goten and Trunks, I thought that was probably because they were trying to save him for a much more mature role. But after looking at the trailer, we saw a kid version of Goten and Trunks. And this leads me to believe that this upcoming Dragon Ball Super Series is actually going to take place in multiple time periods. I think what it's going to do is it's going to show us Goku probably after the Beerus arc. And quite frankly, guys, the reason I'm saying this is I don't think they're going to show us beforehand. And they might show us a little bit, you know, as we saw earlier, we saw Goku and that Radish farm. So maybe they might show us a little bit of what the Z fighters were going through, you know, maybe a little bit before the Yosun Goku and his friends return and all of that after the defeat of Kid Buu up until Beerus appearing. But I think most of it is going to take place after, or I should say most of it's going to start off after we see Goku and, you know, encounter Beerus because of multiple reasons. Now, the first reason is, is by showing us Beerus in this poster, that's clearly telling us from the absolute get-go, they wouldn't give us a villain this early if he is not going to appear early in the series, which leads me to believe that obviously we all know who Beerus is by this point, so it only makes sense for it to take place after Battle of Gods. So if they show us a clip here or there, you know, for a little bit before Battle of Gods, it kind of makes sense. Maybe a little bit of the Radish farming stuff. And the reason why I was saying that this would probably have to take place before Fukatsu no F is because this is a perfect time for us to see the Z fighters or more in particular Goku and Vegeta in that gap before actually training with Whis and you know fighting on his planet we didn't see how he trained with Whis we didn't see what motivated him to train with him all we see is after Goku has this fight with Beerus Beerus says okay I'm gonna go to sleep now he leaves Earth and basically after that I mean you know Goku's just on Earth and we don't know what happens in that time period so I think this this series is perfect to show us how Goku gets from point A, meaning Battle of Gods, all the way to Fukatsu no F. And maybe they'll go after that. But I definitely think the series is going to start off after Battle of Gods. And I, I'm almost certain now, Beerus might be sleeping in this time period. I know we saw him, you know, in that flat, in, in the actual trailer. We don't know exactly when he might show up. He could wake up in between. We don't know all those minor details about Beerus' sleep. He could have slept the whole time. And I haven't seen Fukatsu no F, even though I've heard some details about it. So I'm almost certain now, guys, that this film is going to take place after Battle of Gods, but before Fukatsu no F. And, you know, whether or not people would consider Fukatsu no F uh, just a movie counterpart to add to the story or actually part of the Dragon Ball Super Series is, you know, kind of up for grabs right now until we get more information. But that's definitely my opinion on the actual time period itself. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about some of the characters here. Dragon Ball Nation and I were discussing this earlier, and we're like 99% sure that this fat-looking Beerus or overweight version of Beerus is definitely an alternate god in an alternate timeline. Same thing for we see for as we see this alternate future, or, or I should say this alternate time alternate universe looking version of Whis, but I guess you could say it's a female version. The image is really, really small of her, but that would lead me to believe that this is probably like an alternate universe where we have an alternate God of Destruction 
and an alternate attendant to, I guess you could say, you know, work alongside the actual God of Destruction. But the reason I was saying this villain is probably most likely a bad God of Destruction is considering the fact that we see him have a relatively sinister smile on his face. And most importantly, he has a little image of the earth in his finger. And that is saying a lot, guys, because why would they show them him having the earth in his hands? Doesn't that seem like, well, he, he's controlling the earth. He can destroy earth whenever he wants. He has the earth at his fingertips. And that definitely leads me to believe, especially with that sinister smile, that he would obviously be a bad god of destruction. Also, considering the fact that he's standing right next to... To Beerus would definitely lead me to believe that even more that he would be an evil god of destruction considering why would they put like a back to back, you know, parallel of both Beerus and this guy standing back to back? Is it trying to show us good and evil? I definitely think it's pretty interesting to show Beerus, you know, as you see, looks relatively sinister too, but you got to remember, guys, Beerus isn't really that bad of a guy. I mean, he's a little pampered at times. He has a bad temper, but... Beerus isn't necessarily a villain, so that would lead me to believe that Beerus and this guy probably know each other through some way, and that alternate attendant is definitely from another universe, and that could probably take place before the Frieza re return or after, because there's so much for us to see of Goku, you know, learning the, the pure Super Saiyan God transformation. I refuse to use that terrible term that everybody else uses, the Super Saiyan God SS, I refuse to say that name, but that's quite frankly what I have to think about the villain. Now, when it pertains to the other characters there really isn't much to say i mean hercule looks kind of silly as always beerus and Whis are back majin boo's there and quite frankly i mean i really think this series is going to center a lot more on the main cast that we have at hand i mean i saw some character key panels and i'll show you guys in a second that were actually showcasing like the other characters and we didn't really see too much of the other minor characters in the series but quite frankly guys that's fine there was no seeing of pan at this point you know obviously in this image you know videl from battle of god she didn't give birth to pan yet but she did in in battle in fukatsu no F, where we see pan as a baby so you know, Pan might not have a role at the early stages of the series, but I definitely think as the series moves on, it's going to surpass Fakatsu no F in time. And I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. I think I've basically said everything here. The appearance of Goten and Trunks, there really isn't much to say about it. I mean, it's a little bit different from what it usually is. Goten isn't wearing, you know, his Goku looking gi and, you know, Trunks isn't wearing his standard uniform. And that's basically all I have to say. It's nice to see Piccolo in the poster getting some love. And, you know, Chi-Chi and Bulma, they actually look happy in this. And that's practically all I gotta say. I mean, if any of you guys know Japanese or, you know, if you have the actual translation for this so far at the time I'm recording this, I'd really appreciate it. But I'm almost certain out of everything I have to say that, you know, the time period would have to take place in between. And this guy is definitely evil. I can't see him being a good guy with the earth in his fingertip like that. That just says bad guy written all over it but that's just my thoughts for this video today guys i hope you guys you know have a lot of things to add and most importantly over everything else please remember to rate comment and subscribe and remember as i always say to have a great day guys